In this video, I will be showing how to assemble the simple and elegant Kotasu table made by me. This is a revised version of the original and assembling this version will be different. First, thank you for supporting my humble and modest business with this purchase. It matters a lot to me that you are satisfied, so let's get started. This table comes disassembled. This allows for it to be shipped affordably with the minimum likelihood of being damaged. To assemble this table, you will need a hammer or mallet, and optionally a clamp. The first step would be to carefully unbox the table. There are some aids that you will need that are in a pouch affixed to the lid of the box. Remove that and unwrap the aids, which should be three pieces of wood, two 90 degree squares and a small block of wood marked with an X. Remove the wrap holding the beams, legs, and the heater cover. There are a total of four legs, eight beams, and the heater cover. The tabletop is underneath. The legs will each have one corner labeled with a letter. Lay the wrap down in between the tabletop and the beams to protect the tabletop from being scratched during assembly. Assemble the inner beams. These are the four beams that will hold the Kotatsu heater in the center of the table. Their ends are rabbits, as opposed to the outer beams whose ends are dados. Each of the joints are labeled with a letter, so match each set of letters up. Gently wiggle the notches into each other and squeeze the joints together. Optionally, you may apply wood glue to the joints before squeezing them together. This will result in the table being more stable, however it can no longer be disassembled. You may use a clamp to seat the joints all the way, as I demonstrate here. Now put the assembled inner beams to the side. The outer beams also have each of their corners labeled with a letter. Match the corresponding corners up. To orient the beams, one of the edges will be rounded. This is the outward facing bottom edge of the table. When arranging the beams, make sure the rounded edge is on the outside bottom. The notches should be facing up. Gently squeeze the joints together. Be very careful to not use excessive force as these joints are prone to shearing. Again, you may use wood glue to secure the joints if desired. Now place the assembled inner beams onto the assembled outer beams. The notches are all labeled by letters, so match them up. Carefully squeeze the notches together evenly so all of them come together at the same time. You may use wood glue to secure these joints as well. With the beams assembled, carefully put them aside and remove the cushion on the tabletop. Now lay the assembled beams back down, upside down, so the dowels go into the holes in the tabletop. Be sure to match the correct corner on the assembled beams to its corresponding corner on the tabletop. One corner has two dowels and another has none. Use these two corners for reference to get the correct orientation. Now, carefully lift up one of the corners to see which letter it is labeled as. Find the leg labeled with the same letter. Note that the corner on the leg where the letter is should also be square, whereas the other corner should be rounded. This square corner with the letter should go on the inward facing corner of the table. Put the leg in place. Now we need our aids. Take the three aids and place the two 90 degree blocks against the beam and the leg. This will help guide the leg down straight, so that the table does not end up with crooked legs. Place a small block of wood labeled with an X onto the end of the leg with the X facing up. This will be where the hammer will hit. By using this aid, we avoid denting the leg when hitting it with a hammer. Holding the two guides firmly against the leg and the beams, use gentle quick short taps to drive the leg straight down into the joint. You may apply wood glue on the joint if desired. Make sure that you are hitting straight down and not at any diagonal angle. This is the most crucial part of the entire assembly and requires a lot of patience. The fit will be tight. 
This is necessary to keep the table from being wobbly. Periodically check the joint to make sure the leg is going in straight and the ends of the beams aren't catching on the leg. This is a fully assembled leg. Now do the same for the other three legs. Be sure to use the correctly labeled leg for each corner. With all four legs assembled, carefully flip the table over. Either first the bottom, then the tabletop, or the entire thing in one go. Now remove the tabletop and put the heater cover onto the center of the table. The hole should be closest to the beam that has a cutout. And with that, you have assembled your own Kotasu table for the winter. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Enjoy!